Hello my friends, my name is Kyle Arrington and this is me with my two precious children, Jake and Jordan. And uh, I wanted to show you, you know, I'm a single mom and I am just, you know, really striving in the world to do the best that I can, like any other mom. And uh, one of my goals is to have time freedom. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about, you know, being able to work at the hours of my choice, being able to have um, control of my income and be able to just, you know, live life to the fullest. And I was listening to Empower Network's Inner Circle Audio with Brandon Kuhn, and he was talking about how whenever he was, you know, kind of getting his mindset going, he was, um, he was reading Rich Dad Poor Dad. And if you've ever written that, or re read that, I'll tell you what, it's an eye-opener. Whenever I read it, I thought, oh my gosh, I learned all of the things of Poor Dad, you know, because my parents know what they know and it was like you know your house is your biggest asset and or is an asset and um, you know there's just little things in there that you're just like oh my gosh but that's what I learned and then you're realizing that it's not the case for the wealthy and so you've got to kind of change things up a little bit and figure out um, a different mindset so anyway again I was listening to the inner circle audio uh, from Empower Network, and I wanted to share some things with you that I learned. Um, one of which, you know, whenever you are thinking about the time freedom, you know, being a single mom and knowing other single moms that um, are struggling, you know, I want to help them too. I want to help all of those and empower people to have back their time freedom. And so to do that, I started blogging with Empower Network, which has been the best decision I've ever made because it not only helps me to have the um, tools that I need to succeed, but it also helps you with your mindset. So it's got the technical things, and then it has everything to help with your mindset. Um, because your mindset, if you think to yourself, oh, I couldn't do that, you know, well, why not? And um, one of my friends the other day was like, oh, look at those big homes, I'll never have one of those. I'm like, why not? You know, she truly believes that she'll never have one, so she probably won't because she believes that. Um, but anyway, one of the things that Brandon Kuhn was talking about um, in the Inner Circle Audio was Facebook ads. You know, Facebook ads are pretty big because people are on Facebook, okay? And he was discussing how to get ads approved uh, because a lot of times people have troubles with that. And I got some really good golden nuggets, okay? And I'm going to share them with you. With Facebook's ads, um, he said with the ad itself, to tell people they will be putting their email. Okay? Facebook ads are pay per click advertising, which means that whenever someone clicks, you are paying. So if you put up front that your their email is going to be required, if they don't want to put in their email, then they're not going to click and it's not going to cost you any money, which is fantastic. Okay? Some people would be scared to put that because they're thinking, well, if I put that, then they're not going to click. Well, the reality is, if they don't want to put in their email, then why do you want them to click? Because you're going to pay for that click, and then they're not going to put in their email, right? So it makes sense. Um, and being congruent, all right? So whenever you are doing an ad, um, you want the ad itself on Facebook to say something like um, the best secrets to internet marketing, for example. Okay, um, email required. So then on the next page, he said that you really want it to be almost the same ad copy as that, maybe a little longer, but essentially saying the same thing because that is what got them to take action to begin with. So if you say something else completely different, it's not congruent and they're likely not to go any farther. So on the second page, get them to like you and um, for your fan page and then on the next page have them to opt in to your email okay because one of the things with Facebook is they don't like for you to have an opt-in form with Facebook advertising so they may not um, actually approve your advertising so don't have an opt-in form in that first page alright then on the next page then you can ask for their email and again keep everything congruent to what you originally started and that way you know people will be more likely to take action alright then 
whenever you are um, deciding who your target audience is. For example, if it's um, people in the network marketing industry, don't really necessarily um, target different network marketing opportunities per se, but maybe target things that they're interested in. For example, if they're interested in, in Rich Dad Poor Dad, okay? So you might um, advertise on Rich Dad Poor Dad on Facebook. And you're going to capture people with the same mindset as you or people that are open to having the same mindset as you. Or um, the four hour work week, that's another good one. Because again, these are the people that are looking for the same type of thing that you're looking for. And whenever you're doing your ad, you might say something like um, what Rich Dad Poor Dad didn't specify or um, what the four hour work week is leaving out. And those people are like, oh gosh, well that's what I'm interested in, so I'm going to click on that. You know, because, well, what are they leaving out? I don't know. And that's a clickable ad. And then on the next page, you're going to be, again, congruent and kind of discuss, well, this um, for our work week is missing something out that, that, uh, that we're going to expose, yada, yada, yada. And then the next time, you're going to, or the next page, you'll do the opt-in form or a video, and then you're going to tell them the answer. You want to make sure that you tell them the answer at some point, because that's why they opted in. It's spamming them if you don't give them an answer, okay? So again, this is something that I learned within the Inner Circle Audios within Power Network. And if you are looking for a way to make some extra money from home, it is a perfect opportunity because it's going to give you both the technical tools and the mindset to help you succeed. And with my team, we have a very successful team. It's really inspiring because it's not just you know our leader that is making a difference and making money. It's a lot of people. And I think that like four um, people close to me, including myself, are on the leaderboards. And that's really cool because it's, again, not just the leader of the group. So anyway, if you're interested in learning more